Welcome to a quick overview of network segmentation. By the end of this video, you should have a good understanding of what network segmentation is used for and its benefits. So what is network segmentation? Network segmentation is the idea of creating subnets within a network, or networks within a network. And what is network segmentation used for? Well, it's not used for just one thing, but many things, such as compartmentalizing your network, or in other words, to organize it. For example, it keeps your sales team's computers from talking and sharing information with your financial team's computers. Segmentation allows for more efficient use of bandwidth by reducing the size of broadcast domains and getting rid of unnecessary traffic on the network. Another benefit of having a segmented network is that it enhances security by reducing an organization's attack surface by not keeping your eggs in one basket, so to speak. When you separate a network like this, you can make it to where all outbound and inbound traffic has to go through a layer 3 device, a router, and have a firewall, if you so choose, to get into the network. If the sales team wants to talk to the financial team's computers, the traffic has to go through a router and a firewall if you have one. This gives you a little more control of network traffic because you can make the firewall do many things, such as deny traffic you don't want. So now that we know what network segmentation is used for, what are some techniques used to segment a network? Physical segmentation is the most simple way. You just plug different groups of devices into separate switches, and that's it. Then we have virtual, which means to use a virtual local area network, or VLAN for short. In a VLAN, devices might be connected to the same layer 2 device, often the same switch, but are on separate LANs because they are separated virtually.